Hey guys, what's up? It's Eli, and I have a choke for you by request. Um, one that I get asked a lot about, the no-gi baseball bat choke. All right? Now, with the gi, the baseball bat choke, or the parallel choke, some people call it, enters in the collar one and two. Imagine if Chris has a gi on here. I'm gonna go one, two, like this, with my arms parallel to each other, and then as I move around him, the arms kind of fold in as if I was grabbing a, a baseball bat and turning to swing the baseball bat. Um, so it, it seems like a very gi specific choke, but there is a way to do it and very, very effectively too uh, without the gi. And so we're going to look at that. One of the best places to set this up is from knee on belly. Um, whenever I, I get my knee on belly position established, I like to ride whenever it's no gi. I like to control the hip and hold the back of the neck like this to begin. Um, whenever I start to set up the choke, I'm gonna let this one come here. So one of the benefits of this choke is that it's not very threatening immediately. You know, I'm not like grabbing immediately around the neck or if it's with the gi, I'm not crossing immediately. I'm going here and it's a little less threatening. So then I'm gonna keep this hand out and this one's gonna reach up here to grab the fingers and roll the fingers in like an inverted kind of S grip. This knee from the belly is gonna cut over Chris's arm like this here to block and now I start to bring the elbows down and in this way. My head's gonna go to the far side shoulder to block, to hopefully take some of uh, his defense away from this one. This arm is out of commission. There's no chance of him blocking with this here. And then I squeeze in here. Very strong show. The idea is this hand, this hand, it's gonna make this kind of inverted S grip. And then I'm gonna bring these two elbows together so that that space right there is where his neck is and the squeeze comes in from there. So let's look at it one more time, starting from knee on belly. All right. I get in knee on belly position this way. I'm gonna kind of karate chop right here, grab my fingers, roll in nice and tight. I don't just hop off and spin around. I wanna cut the knee across his arm this way and pivot on that knee once I crossed over to this way here, bringing the elbows in tight together. My head rests over here on his shoulder and I squeeze this way here without letting go of the fingers, of course. But that is uh, how you do a baseball bat choke with no gi. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing it with a gi, maybe I'll make a video over that later. But this is a very deceptive choke, um, very versatile choke, and uh, hopefully that gives you guys some good details on it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks a lot.